Sean Sewell, InGamer.com. Really excited to show you the brand new Goal Zero Yeti 1000X portable power supply. I've had this for about a month, Goal Zero sent it over. Been testing it nonstop. Really impressed with it. And I'm gonna do a quick five minute review here in part one, and then I'm gonna do a much deeper one in about two or three months to show you how it works throughout the winter, which is very important to me, probably important to you. Right now it is 24, 25 degrees Fahrenheit and the sun is just about to come up. And so this is a really good representation of some of the conditions I've been testing it in. Warmest I've been is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Coldest I've been is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And yes, it will stop taking power. I, I've done this now four times. It will stop taking power when it gets below freezing, but it will still put power out, which is really cool. So what else I'm using to charge it? I got the tried and true Goal Zero Nomad 100. Of course, there's a 50 and a 200 as well, but I got the 100 right there hanging off of a rooftop tent. Oh, it was a glorious night last night too, shooting stars and almost a full moon. Let's get into the Yeti 1000X. All right. 1000 watt battery. It is about 30 pounds, easily portable, nice, durable, more than durable design. You get two 1500 watt, 3000 watt surge AC outputs. Heck, you can put a power supply or eight prong power outlet right there and charge multiple appliances at one time if you don't exceed 1500 watts. The inverter is stable and legit is goal zero. Don't need to say much about that. If you need to use the power, you push the AC button and you're getting power. USB is fantastic. You got 60 watt super high output USB-C, 18 watt quick charge USB-C, USB-A at five volt, 2.4 amps. It works fantastic. You can use multiple power things at one time. I love the screen. I, I have 19 hours until the battery's full. I'm drawing at 30, yes, 30 watts. The sun just came out. This is perfect timing. So I'm charging the battery and powering this Dometic cooler right there. And I've got plenty of power to spare. See this little symbol right here? That means it's below freezing. But yet I'm still charging and I'm still powering things, which is a great example of them over delivering and under promising. 12 volt output. I have this device, like I mentioned, my Dometic cooler right there, which got my beverages in it and food. And then input, this is gonna blow your minds. So you got the traditional eight millimeter uh, port, which would be right there for most solar panels. You can plug it right in. But what I'm using is this Anderson connector. Probably looks familiar to a lot of you. But what's cool about that is it's actually a four way splitter. This will take in more than one solar panel. So I've got two panels going right now, and I'll show you that here in a second. You can also charge up top that same eight millimeter port, and that is a provided AC power supply. We'll charge this at home in about nine, 10 hours. But if that's not fast enough, and that's not fast enough for me, there's a 600 watt option that will charge this in about two to three hours. Speaking of 600 watts, this baby will take in up to 600 watts using the Anderson connector, and I think only 100 or 200 watts with eight millimeters. So again, Sun is my power supply going to the Nomad 100 panel. That panel, eight millimeter goes right there into one of the four ports going into the Anderson. Now I'll show you what I'm using in uh, addition to that panel. So that's my 100 watt solar panel. Hopefully this is coming out so I can't see on top of a rooftop tent. Works fantastic. It's a different brand, doesn't matter. It works with the Goal Zero as long as it doesn't exceed 50 volts on solar panel, which that one does not. So merge up to four of those, up to 600 watts into the battery to charge it up. Freaking awesome. Like I showed you, it is charging that and taking power in even though the cold symbol is on. Just another testimony to how badass Goal Zero stuff is. Like I mentioned in part two, I will go way deeper into the winter. I'll have this in a cooler, which is again, safe to do. And I'm gonna ask some Goal Zero some questions on different tweaks we can do to the battery, get more performance. And I'll put that in the part two review. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask them or parameters for testing, let me know and do my best to accommodate that. Just put them in the comments below. Yeah, from what I can say, one month in, super impressed, the best power supply. I have used, and you can tell, I have some pretty good ones I've been testing. <laughs> Not to say that those aren't as good as well, but the Goal Zero Yeti 1000X, superb. 
Sean Sewell, owner and direct stroke for ingiement.com. Hope that was helpful. Until next time, take care.